Okay, so I've been working on the coil gun here, and I want to point out a few facts that you can already see I have not gone with plexiglass. Why? Because I can't find it anywhere. I mean anywhere. I look everywhere. So, I've got this awesome piece of wood for my grandmother. You can thank her for that. It's going to look awesome when I'm done. Um, now, I've been, wor I've been uh, thinking about how I can uh, charge these capacitors. Because that boost converter, the parts I ordered for the boost converter, I'm I want to save that for the handheld model. I'm, I'll be the portable handheld model I'll be building eventually. So what I come up with is I googled some things and I googled a uh, an inverter schematic and I found this one and I have all the parts I need for it. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build it. It just whoops. It's just a 555 timer, which creates the 60 hertz, or the 50, the 50 or 60 hertz. And, um, then it runs to these transistors, which I'm assuming, um, I'm assuming they probably just turn the current on and off, is what I would imagine, creating the, um, pulsating, the, uh, then, okay, the 555 timer will pulse, uh, current through the bases, allowing current to flow through them, creating a higher current flow through the transformer right. is what I would imagine right, that would be, that would do. And then, right, and then you get your 120 out, and then from that I'm going to use right. a full wave doubler, uh, voltage doubler, which is going to give me approximately 340 volts uh, at peak, uh, peak voltage. And then I'm going to also put a current limiter on the end so the capacitors will charge up somewhat slowly, just slow enough that this will be able to register it. Um, I got this off of another coil gun site dot com, and um, what it is, it's, it's a voltage indicator. He has it set up for his 500 volt caps, but I'm going to add on some more uh, resistors to make it uh, suitable for my 300 volts. So um, that's what the I've got um, a one meg, uh, one meg pot, and some uh, one meg resistors. So I'm gonna put those. I'm gonna put the resistors in parallel to really to reduce the uh, resistance, and then one the one meg pot in series with that. And then I'll put two one Ks, and then probably I'll probably just take the one K out, the one K pot out of there. And uh, anyways, the current from this. When uh, when the voltage gets high enough, it'll be able to turn on the base of the 2N3904 transistor, allowing current to flow through the collector and emitter, um, which will which will be 12 volts. Turning on a relay, which will shut the entire project down or shut the entire charging charger off. And when the voltage when the capacitor voltage voltage drops below the point where the base will then basically where the transistor will stop conducting. Uh, electricity, it will uh, turn the whole circuit, it will turn the charger back on, you know, obviously, yada yada yada. But that's what I've got so far, and um, basically, and this is how it's going to lay out right now as I see it. Battery's going to be right here, there's going to be one of them. And uh, the, uh, the transformer and stuff is going to be right here, along with the voltage doubler and the current limiting. The, con the uh, actual um, control circuitry for that will be right here. Um, the uh, control circuitry for the entire coil gun itself, um, si switches, safety, charging, stuff like that will be right here. And then um, the firing equipment will be right here, along this right here. And then the coils will be along here. Um, I'm thinking about making it into, into it like a small turret-like thing so it'll be aimable. Uh, but I'm not sure on that yet, so... But this is what I got so far, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. I know I'm, I'm I know I'm enjoying this project. So, but uh, as soon as I got more, I'll let you guys know. But till then, peace.